draw the free body diagram. So again, this is our uh, Y, Z, rotation about X. Okay. So we're going to draw our, uh, I wonder why is this thing always gone? Okay. So we are going to draw our free body diagram. Okay. So here's A to B. So this is our point A, our point B, then we have our point C, and then we have our point D. So at point A, we know that we have a reaction over here. So this is our uh, AY, and then we have one over here, that is our uh, DY. Okay. So at a certain uh, position, so 2.4. So over here, there is a equivalent load. And this equivalent load is uh, 50 times 10 to power 3 multiply by 3.2 why 3.2 is 2.4 plus 0.8 so 50 power 3 times by 3.2 is equal to 160 times 10 to power 3 and if we were to consider the distances okay the distance from here to here is 1.6 from here to here is 0 0.8 to here is 2.4 and then from here to here it's equal to 0 0.8 okay so we're going to uh, sketch or we are going to find the reaction at point a and at point d okay so the thing we're going to do is we're going to find reactions at A and, uh, sorry, at point B and point D, not A, point B and point D uh, using static analysis, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, do a uh, summation about moment about the x-axis i'm going to take moment at point d okay i'm going to take moment at point d so we have 160 equal to zero static analysis so the first one is going anti-clockwise you see the 160 so 160 times 10 to power 3 multiply by so 2.4 1.6, so it's 4 minus by 1.6. That's the perpendicular distance. Then you have uh, minus AY multiplied by uh, 2.4 plus by 0 0.8. The whole thing is equal to 0. So AY is equal to 4 minus 1.6 times by 160 power 3, which is 384. One, two, three, divide by two point four plus by point eight, which is three point two. So AY is equal to three eight four divided by three point two. It's got one hundred and twenty times ten to the power three uh, newton. Sorry, not AY. What I'm talking about ah uh, BY BY. Do apologize. Okay, I got this wrong. Okay, so that's BY. So this is uh, plus, uh, minus BY bracket, okay? So this is BY 
So this will become 120 times 10 to about 3 Newton. Then summation about forces. All right. So you will have uh, BY, which is 120 times 10 to about 3 minus by 160 times 10 to about 3 then plus by dy is equal to zero so we found out that dy is equal to 40 times 10 to about 3 newton okay, let me write this better so 40 times 10 to about 3 newton okay so we have our by and dy okay so we are going to uh, you probably have learned this before we're going to use a uh, positive shear positive bending moment assumptions okay to determine the shear force and bending moment equations okay now i'm i'm teaching shear force and bending moment equation also at the same time because after this week next week we will we'll do u criteria okay the following week we do deflection of beams which you will need it okay so just to quickly get you uh to recap your shear force and bending moment equations okay so let me get the diagram again right so we know that over here we have a force of 120 times 10 to about 3 newton and over the other side you have 40 times 10 to about 3 newton okay so we are going to find uh we're going to find we're going to put in positions okay we're going to form a table first okay so this is point a right then you have point a to point B, then you have point B, then you have point B to point C, right? Then you have point uh, C, then you have point C to point D, and then you have point D. So we are creating a table first, okay? So what is this table for? So this table, we are going to look at our limits. So some of you say, Eugene, what are you doing over here? I'm go we are going to form shear force and bending moment equations, okay? So let's look at x distance over here. So A, point A, the left-hand side is always where is our geometric data, okay? So x is equal to zero, all right? From A to B is zero, x, uh, 0 0.8, right? Uh, B to C is 0 0.8, uh, so point B is X is equal to 0 0.8, and then 0 0.8 X to uh, 0 0.8 plus 2.4 is 3.2, and X is equal to 3.2, and then you have uh, uh, 3.2 X to 4, and then X is equal to four. Okay, so we're going to create a table. So this table will have our uh, shear force. And then the next one is going to be our bending moment. equations okay right so i want you to take note whenever it is a constant down here okay you see all this constant 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 right the shear force will also so all these where i highlight all over here they will be constant Okay, or I'll put down here. 
So the bending moment will be a constant and shear force equation will be a constant, right? So whenever x is a constant, uh, is a fixed number, it's a constant, right? This is also a constant. This is also a constant. Then when it's a range, like 0x to 0 0.8, they are all equations. Okay, so all these are all equations. 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 Okay. All right. So we have to find where x, we have to find at point A first. Okay, at point A. Okay, so you write at point A where x is equal to zero. So what we know about x is equal to zero is where the shear force V is equal to zero, right? There's no there's no reaction of shear force, and then the moment is equal to zero also. So that's point X. Okay. So the shear force is zero. Bending moment is also equal to zero. Okay. So then the next one is between A to B. Okay, so between A to B, point A to point B. So this is uh, 0 x to 0 0.8 meters. Okay, so if we're going to sketch it, right, I'm going to sketch. Right, so while I sketch, I think you all cannot see the diagram. You all probably can't remember what we doing. So I'm going to copy and paste down here. Right, so we are. We are going. To, we are going to deal with uh, uh, zero to zero point eight. Okay, in that range. Okay, so this is our our equivalent load, right? Over here, from here to here, this is our x, right? So this is fifty times ten to power three x, and then the next thing you have to clarify is the distance from here to here is x over 2 okay and then you have to draw this so this is uh oh sorry it's not x it is z i do apologize okay ah uh, i'm so used to writing x okay because we follow the orientation my bet okay my evil so all these are, are z okay so all these are z You all should spot all this mistake, okay? Every mistake I make, you get a pint of beer, okay? <laughs> okay. Right. So again, this is Z. This Z over 2. So this is v as a function of z moment as a function of z okay and why it is this direction okay why it is this direction over here why this two are in this direction because we assume positive shear and positive bending uh, moment okay. and we are analyzing analysis direction is uh, left to right so this is our analysis direction let me put in a different color okay analysis analyze direction okay so that's why positive shear and positive moment are in that direction okay so from here we are going to carry out a static analysis so positive is going up dimension of forces in the y direction is equal to zero right 
So you will have minus 50 times 10 to power 3 uh, z minus v as a function of z is equal to 0. Uh, 